So now what I'm interested in, you know, what my real interests lie in is that I want uh, to find my uh, for me function and the re and you know the way I'm going to do that is uh, the, the the you know the distribution which is uh, most likely to happen or you know the distribution uh, which is uh, most uh, favorable thermodynamically is the one which maximizes this total number of uh, essentially I want to maximize W or in turn I want to maximize that's the same thing as maximizing the log of W and essentially you know we can think of it as another way where you know the distribution uh, th which is most thermodynamically thermodynamically favorable is the one which maximize the entropy or which maximize the total number of distributions which we can have uh, in these particles and I want to maximize this but I have some boundary condition I've, I've been given you know some boundary condition I've been told that you know the total number of uh, particles uh, that I have that is uh, fixed so you know the total number of uh, total number of electrons is, is constant similarly the total energy in my system that is you know the total energy of these electrons which is uh, a multiplication of uh, number of electrons at each level multiplied by the energy at le each level is also a constant so given these constraint what i'm interested is in maximizing this uh, maximizing this uh, total number of uh, distribution so uh, uh, you know uh, I, so i can you know rewrite some of these equations again so i know that you know my uh, my total number of uh, my total number of electrons is constant so you know a partial derivative in terms of uh, number of electrons should be zero similarly my total energy is constant so again my partial derivative for that should also be zero and you know maximize this uh, particular function uh, given these uh, constraint is uh, what I'm uh, interested in so I, w I again take a partial derivative of this function with respect to uh, with respect to the number of particles so you know I take a derivative with respect to uh, d and i so of course this term goes to zero and then ln of uh, derivative of ln of x is essentially one by x so some of these terms will also cancel out and what I'm left with is essentially this this term so a derivative in terms of uh, number of particles is uh, given by this formula so derivative of this w is uh, given by essentially this uh, formula and now what i use is i use another of these uh, mathematical uh, uh, mathematical uh, relationships uh, which is called as uh, lagrange multiplier so what i what it says is you know it, it's similar to the situation that i have right now that i want to maximize one function and given the constraints uh, that this other function has to be a constant so you know i want to maximize my w at the same time i know that you know my total number of particles and their total energy is constant so what this lagrange multiplier says is that you know i can derive this new function now which is essentially my old function times the constant of my uh, constant function and what it says is that the partial derivatives of this function now has to be zero. So if I want to, if I take a partial derivative of this new function, now with respect to these variables, these have to be uh, zero now. So I do, I you know, uh, this is Wikipedia page where you can learn more about Lagrange multipliers. But what I would do in my case is essentially, you know, I want to optimize uh, this function and I have these two given constraints so I you know define this uh, new function which is uh, my uh, old function and then you know I multiply it by uh, these this function by a constant you know so these are my Lagrange multipliers alpha and beta and given this uh, mathematical relationship now you know that partial derivative of this thing with respect to uh, my number of particles has to be zero so this is you know what i have reduced my uh, reduced my all that uh, all that uh, statistics and probability into and now you know this has to be zero for any given distribution of uh, ni so each of these term individually has to be zero now so each of these term is now zero so i've given what i get is essentially i get a log of this term which is equivalent to 
a constant plus this beta times energy of my particle and you know i can re rearrange this term so that you know i get this log get rid of this log term and what i get is essentially my ni is now related to my total number of states gi and it's divided by this uh, exponent 1 plus e to power alpha plus beta i where alpha and beta were these uh, lagrange multipliers and you know i can take uh, this gi this time and then i get number of states divided by total number of states and that is nothing but my probability of occupation of this state so my probability of occupation of this state is now given essentially by uh, 1 divided by 1 plus this exponential function and i can replace alpha as uh, you know this uh, this constant by this term uh, uh, by this term ef by uh, kt and uh, essentially i can replace beta by 1 over uh, kt and uh, I get uh, these relationship where essentially I, I now see my Fermi Dirac uh, distribution uh, coming into picture where my probability at energy E is given by this uh, exponential uh, relationship. And I have, you know, uh, in this uh, video, I've just stated these alpha and beta and I've taken uh, them uh, to be equivalent to this uh, values, but actually you can derive that alpha and beta are in fact ef by kt and 1 over kt so in this case i took a partial derivative with respect to the you know the total number of particles i can also take a partial derivative or you know try to take a derivative in terms of energy and i get uh, these alpha and beta i can you know further i can prove that these are actually these uh, constant are related to the temperature by these values but nonetheless you know we have derived uh, we have you know some idea now of uh, uh, where this uh, for me uh, where does this uh, for me Dirac distribution uh, comes from